Iowa City has acquired a new tool in the fight against climate change. The Spot the Hat campaign was meant to help us determine the location of urban heat islands in Iowa City and Cedar Rapids. For several years, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, has been working with communities to take part in its urban heat island mapping campaign. Urban heat islands are the phenomenon where the built environment, including roads, buildings, and especially parking lots, absorb and re-radiate heat throughout the day, making those areas much hotter than the surrounding community. So that can negatively impact the health and safety of people, especially the young, elderly, and those with respiratory and other health conditions. In order to collect this data, local volunteers were recruited to help. Having community buy-in was a key factor in this process. If there's going to be any change, whether it be locally or globally, it kind of has to start at the smallest level, starts at the micro level. People buy in, they believe that they can make a change, that they can do something. As always, Iowa City answered the call with people of all different walks of life. I'm a university student here at Iowa and I am pretty interested in remote sensing aspects of sustainability where, yeah, you take data from around the town and then use it to improve city infrastructure. So I teach AP Environmental Science at City High School and I always encourage my students to get involved and so I was excited to actually be able to get involved in some citizen science projects around the city. One thing all these volunteers had in common is that they had each experienced the impacts of climate change on some level. Weather events that are just not happening usually, like inches of rain in a, in a day versus you know, inches over a week, and it just, you can just tell something's different. I think everyone in the world has been impacted to some extent. I mean, everyone in Iowa experienced extreme heat, drought, the derecho came through. There's been a lot of impacts that we've experienced. So, how do you find and map urban heat islands? Specialized sensors had to be mounted on vehicles to record temperature, humidity, time, and location. There were five different routes in total. Volunteers drove each of these routes at three different times of the day, 6 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m. All that data collected by our citizen scientists was then sent off to our partners at Kappa Solutions to be compiled into an interactive heat map. Simply collecting the data helps raise awareness of the dangers high heat poses to residents, and the map built on that data will help inform efforts to address and adapt to it. Urban heat islands can be mitigated by planting trees and other natural vegetation, green roofs, and reflective materials on roofs and buildings. We also encourage our community members to engage with the map, which is available on our website at icgov.org slash keep cool. Anytime you get people involved as a positive, this kind of lets you get involved and see the behind the scenes and understand, oh, this may be why I have to run my air conditioning five, <laughs> five times more than my neighbor does who has two trees in his yard and I don't have any. I think it's important for regular people like me to understand the science behind kind of what's going on and climate change and things like that, making it so the knowledge is accessible for everyone is also very important. The more aware people are, um, the better off it is for everyone. And so when people realize that there's a problem and they can realize how we can come together and come up with solutions, the more effective it's going to be. And so I think it's very powerful to incorporate as many people as you can in projects like this. With this new tool, and the support of our residents, we're now better equipped to beat the heat. Nice job. I'm thankful to live in a community like Iowa City that cares so much about its people and its community and that they give opportunities to people to do work like this. The world isn't the same as it was 10, 20 years ago before I was alive. I don't know what that world looks like and I'm never going to, but I can change the world or try to do my part to make the world a better place for my future.